Okay, sorry about that. My camera was turned the wrong direction. So I'm just coming on live today for just a few minutes. I want to talk to you about counterfeit stamps. Now, counterfeit stamps are being sold all over the internet, through Amazon, through other companies that are around the world, um, Wish, Timu, all of those companies have now started producing, and they have been for several years, counterfeit stamps that are copyrighted by Stampin' Up. Let me start by saying that my name is Sue Sanders, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Lake Ozark, Missouri, USA. Now, by purchasing counterfeit stamps, you are not only hurting a demonstrator who is trying to make a business out of selling Stampin' Up!, but you're also hurting Stampin' Up!, a great company who has been around for 35 years that has great customer service, treats their demonstrators very, very well, um, and it, it's, it's making the company have to spend thousands of dollars on trying to stop the sale of counterfeit stamps and dies. Now, this all started Friday, the 23rd of June, when I received a phone call from one of my customers. And she said, I received my order today, but it's very strange in the way the packaging was. And I said, okay, how do you mean? And she said, well, I received this stamp set and dies, and I don't recall purchasing it. Can you look to see if I ever ordered it? So I did because I have access to what they've ordered. And now this person is an elderly lady. <clears throat> and as everybody else, we're always looking for a great deal, right? I mean, we want to have a great product at a relatively reasonable price. With Stampin' Up! you do get that, okay? There are lots of stamp companies out there and too many to, to even mention and to, to, to name off. But particularly what I'm concerned with is when you can go out to Amazon and you can purchase stamp sets that have just been released in May of 2023 from counterfeit companies. In particularly, and I want to remind you that this is the stamp set that I'm talking about, Irresistible Blooms, and it's coordinating dyes. This stamp set is only an exclusive online. You will not find it in any catalog from Stampin' Up! Okay, this is an exclusive online order that you can only purchase when you go to the Stampin' Up! online store through a demonstrator or directly through Stampin' Up! where you get to use a demonstrator. So when she was discussing this with me, I found it very unusual how she was describing that this packaging was. She said that her dyes did not come in the regular plastic envelope. All of our dyes come in an envelope. Let me get one real quick to show you what I'm talking about. Sorry about my messy room, but I wanted to really get this message out there to people. So our envelopes, our dyes, will come into an envelope and it will be sealed in a cellophane packaging. Now all of the dyes in our die sets are taped very strongly so that they don't shift around in shipping. And I usually take mine out of the envelope if they go with a set and I put them on a magnetic sheet, similar to this, okay? Well, she said that all of these dies, and there's 13 of these dies, were just packaged loosely in a cellophane envelope, okay? Hmm. Clue number one what in the world. She also said that her stamps, which I want to remind you from Stampin' Up!, they are the red cling stamps. So they're red, red rubber, OK? 
okay, versus the photopolymer. So when these stamps come to you, they come in a box, just like this, and you have to actually attach, or if preference, don't attach the little sticker, the cling that sticks to your stamp block. Clue number two that she gave me was that these were photopolymer stamps, which are clear stamps. They also were just in a cellophane bag. And I thought this is really odd because one, Stampin' Up! does not sell this set in photopolymer. Two, I've never, ever had a set of stamps that I purchased from Stampin' Up! come in just a cellophane bag. I contacted Stampin' Up!'s customer support because I wanted to make sure that I was correct in my thinking, which I was. And after some more discussion with my customer, I determined that indeed she had been shopping on Amazon. Amazon. Now, let me remind you, she is up in her late 70s, early 80s, somewhere like that. Gripe number two that I have is companies taking advantage of the elderly. Okay. I, I have an elderly mother. She has been scammed in the past with fly by night. You got to do this or you got to do that. Okay. But let's stick to the point. If you go out to Amazon and you type in a stamp set name, such as He's the Man, or any of the newer ones that we just released in our annual catalog, um, you can find them on Amazon. So I want to make the buyer beware that the only way you can purchase Stampin' Up! It's just cut me off. The only way that you can purchase Stampin' Up! products that are guaranteed to be great and not fly by night um, where the dyes really cut, and if you have an issue, you can contact the company, and they will make it right by you, okay? But when you order it off of Amazon, you are purchasing a counterfeit. You will not get what you pay for, okay? Now, you may be paying only $12 for this Irresistible Blooms, which is more than that through Stampin' Up! But you're not going to get a perfect product, let's put it that way, because they're not made the same way that Stampin' Up! stamps are made. I want to give you a couple hints that you can look for when shopping Amazon and you want a stamp set. First of all, you will see a picture, and on that picture, you see where it's got our name of the stamp set? That's going to be all black. You're not going to see that. Okay? You're not going to see the Stampin' Up! logo at the bottom. You're not going to see the item number on the case cover. Okay? It shows a case, but you don't get a case. They come in a cellophane envelope. Okay? So beware of what you're purchasing. Don't just buy a stamp set that you think is a Stampin' Up! product, when in reality, it's a counterfeit. A counterfeit company is hurting my business as a demonstrator. And that is a, of a, from a company that has been around for 35 years. All of our stamps are copyrighted. There are rules and regulations in how demonstrators can sell product. We can't just sell on Amazon. We can't. Stampin' Up! does not allow us to sell our products on Amazon. 
Stampin' Up! does not allow us to sell discontinued stamp sets until one year after that catalog has been discontinued. Okay, so any stamp set that you find here in this annual catalog, you cannot purchase those from a Stampin' Up! demonstrator until it's been retired for one year. Now, here comes a little funny part. When we have our mini catalog, that's our sale catalogs, and our celebrations that we offer free paper or stamp sets, those have not really been published in a catalog. Those are called and considered a brochure. Those have a little different views on rules on how we can sell those. Now, I'm not up on all of the rules and regulations, but I do know these. You can find stamp sets out on eBay. Those could be either being sold by demonstrators or by customers who purchase them. But buyer beware. Know the price of the original set. Okay. You don't want to pay three times more for a set just because it's discontinued. You don't want to pay three times more for a product out on eBay just because it's discontinued. Okay. There are legitimate sites that you can go on through Facebook and it will be stamping up demonstrators buy and sell um, in search of, you can type in what a stamp set that you're in search of. And if someone has it to sell, they'll sell it to you. But I can probably guarantee you that they're not going to gouge you for that product. Okay. They're going to want out of it what they have in it. And they're not going to ask three times the price. Um, for instance, when Stampin' Up! had to discontinue our stamp apparatus, which, by the way, was one of the best stamping positioning tools over a lawsuit. And that's why they had to discontinue it. People were selling stamp apparatuses that normally were around $50, I believe. They were selling them for $150. Now, whether it's a great product or not, don't be scammed into paying $150 for a product, even though it's discontinued. Okay. So this is a buyer beware video. Um, I've never done one like this before, but it really bothered me when I found out that one of my customers was thinking that Stampin' Up!, a reputable company, was selling product on eBay, not on eBay, I'm sorry, on Amazon, and when she got the product, she thought that it was defective from Stampin' Up!, not so, okay? So Stampin' Up! does not sell defective products. If by chance you happen to purchase a defective stamp set or a defective die set or a defective stamp or a punch, contact your demonstrator, contact Stampin' Up! directly at their customer service, and they will make it right for you. They will either send you a new stamp set, reimburse you for your stamp set, they are guaranteed for a certain period of time. And that information can find you can find in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So that's what I wanted to come and share with you today because this really made me angry to know that brand new stamp sets that have just been released in May are already being sold as counterfeits across the world. So, my advice to you is, buyer beware. Make sure that when you are ordering a stamp set that you think is a Stampin' Up! stamp set, just like this Irresistible Blooms, know that this stamp set through Stampin' Up! cannot be purchased 
anywhere except through the Stampin' Up! website. Nowhere else. So that's my warning for the buyers today is beware of all of those counterfeit stamps that Stampin' Up! works really hard to shut down, but they just keep creating themselves. It takes Stampin' Up! many months to create, come up with the stamps, the matching dies. It's a process. And by purchasing the counterfeit products, you're hurting Stampin' Up! but you're also hurting an independent demonstrator who is trying to make a business out of this like I am. So please, please warn your friends who like to stamp. Find an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator near you and you can do that by going to the Stampin' Up! website and searching for an independent demonstrator. If you don't currently have one, please come to me. I will be more than happy to help you with any issues you have, any questions that you may have. Um, I love stamping, but I really hate the counterfeit stamps that are surfacing, that's hurting my business and hurting Stampin' Up. Thank you so much today for watching. And remember, beware, if you would like to order from me on my blog, suzyqstamping.com, there is a Shop Now button, and my host code is listed there monthly. I offer my customers special perks, so don't be fooled by Amazon and all of their counterfeit stamps. Y'all have a great Sunday. Bye.